Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Aziz Drives. Today we're driving one of the best sedans that have ever been produced and it's the BMW M5 F90 competition from 2019. And let me tell you something. First thing you get inside this car, you start driving it. It feels so comfortable. It's such a comfortable car. You hear this V8 rumbling behind you a little bit, popping a little bit, but you can turn the exhaust off and it just feels so comfortable and easy. You get through your driving settings, you have this beautiful leather steering wheel with the nice carbon fiber uh, up and down shift panel, pedals. It just feels very nice. Such a comfortable car, you can't hear anything from the outside. It just feels so beautiful and nice and easy. It's so easy going, you have a very nice interior, you have Alcantara leather, you have a nice uh, Bover Wilkins sound system it feels very very beautiful really it's such a beautiful experience to sit inside here very nice very comfortable but then as all the m5s have previously done they are able to beat supercars and sports cars even in performance terms why and how well basically you can change the cars driving behavior modes you have a couple of settings to go through so first of all we have this little set up buttons here that where you can change the throttle response the engine response you can change the dynamics while pressing for example the suspension button and you can change the steering wheel mode so i'm going to change it quite dramatically then you have a second option you can do all of those changes and uh, save it up with the M1 button. For example, I configured this M1 button to keep the ESP on. You have the four-wheel drive system on. The M2 button though has everything off. So two-wheel drive, DSC off and everything set to Sport Plus. So I will press that M1 button right now. What happens is we have uh, full speed on the eight speed automatic gearbox where you can also change the shifting times and we have the exhaust on and we have the basically everything set to sport plus even the steering wheel so uh bah, 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 bah. Bah, 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 bah. Bah, bah, bah. Okay, so this now has transformed to a complete berserk of a car. So let me explain to you while accelerating a little. Look at my body, right? Have a look at this. Three, two, one. Whoa! <laughs> oh! boy let's do it another time let's stop here and just experience this okay uh, turn the car on <sighs> all right look at my body when i accelerate three two one okay whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa. and if i did a launch control there there will be 3.1 seconds to 100. If you continue to accelerate, it takes 11.1 seconds from zero to 200. And it tops out at 305 kph with the M driver's package, which means it's a complete berserk of a car. It's completely berserk. Now, put it into manual and tackle some corners. How does it feel? First of all, the car has two tons but you can't tell it because it has beautiful wheels. 275 in the front, 285 in the back. It has a very good suspension and you can't even tell how, how big this car actually is. The acceleration is on supercar level and... Whoa! The all-wheel drive system grips absolutely incredible. The engine response is fantastic and we are now in four-wheel drive normal mode shifting times even in the fastest settings it's not that fast it's not like a dual clutch uh, transmission they changed it it's 
uh, from its previous generation to this one, we don't have the dual clutch transmission anymore. But the ZF Automatic is a much more reliable engine, uh, much more reliable transmission, and it's better for this amount of power. So talking about powers, we have a 4.4 liter V8 engine, B turbocharged, producing 625 horsepower and 750 newton meters of torque. All right, it's insanity. It's absolutely ridiculous to put that amount of power in a normal looking sedan. So uh, what we also can do is we can go into the setup mode, bah -bah, mine fahrzeug or my car, for example, M setup, and then we have to turn off the ESP. Then we can say, okay, let's put the car into real wheel drive mode, for example. It's already set into here. So let's see what happens when I accelerate now. Second gear, wheel spin, <laughs> and the head-up display changed. So uh, when I step on the front now, we got oversteer, incredible oversteer. It's your BMW as you would wish it to be. Rear-wheel drive, all right? Just press the button and you have a rear-wheel drive car. If you want to drive as fast as possible, but with a little bit more, uh, um, let's say, oversteer on the rear, you just put it into four-wheel drive sport mode. It sends more of the power to the rear wheels and allows you some little skits. And you have this incredible sound. You know, the M5s are just insane machines. I dare you, if you are a RS fan or an uh, AMG fan, I dare you to try a BMW M5. I dare you. I really do. Because once you have tried it, you are going to be 100% sure about your car and you're going to know that they can beat the BMW M5. Really not. It's impossible to beat. It's such a fast car. Maybe a Panamera Turbo SE Hybrid can beat it. But if you put the M5 CS against anything, it's unbeatable. It's the fastest sedan ever produced it's unbeatable it's insane okay insane just standard and this is the original m car this is where the spirit came from the m5 a car a limousine that is able to beat everybody a car that can do everything and i just love it i just absolutely love it second gear here 60 kph It just pushes you into the seat. You really, really can tell what an incredible beast this is of an engine. Revs up to 7,000 RPM. You can beat literally everything with it. You can beat everything with it. There is no substitute to it. Okay, let's go ahead and accelerate here. Second gear, look at that. I mean, we will drive more, but just don't tell anybody, you know. Okay. Put it into the second gear here. I'm not sure which gear to choose, man, because uh, it's going to be too fast anyway. All right, first gear. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> this is just what a BMW is about, okay? Doing skits. Look at the acceleration with rear wheel drive, okay? Stop here and. actually pretty good a little bit a little bit of slip in the rear axle let's put it into four-wheel drive sport mode and let's accelerate from zero one more time to find out how it grips now because that is very important and it goes to, Z to 100 as I mentioned in 3.1 seconds okay let's go into launch control mode so uh, for that ESP off put it into drive I guess all right and then Wow! Hey man, I literally could feel my eyes getting pressed into the eye, into the back of my head. It's incredible. The M5 is just on another level, man. Really. Whoa! And every time you accelerate, you just feel like you're going to. You just feel your internals moving, man. It's just such a ridiculous machine. 
<laughs> oh man and you can even get them with carbon ceramic brakes and let me tell you then there's basically nothing that can beat you really on the autobahn it's going to be the fastest you push push it put it stage one to it stage two maybe 900 horsepower the engine will survive it it's just an incredible beast even the gearbox will survive 800 horsepower easily it's crazy it's just crazy to think of and that's everything we can talk about the BMW M5. If you want to find out more about the exterior and interior review full in detail, make sure to check out the link in the description. And otherwise, thank you very much for watching. If you want to find out about the last BMW M5 we checked, it was the F10. There's a link in the description. Thank you very much and see you on the next one. Goodbye.